Okay, guys, so this one says example 10 to 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15 says use rational exponents to rewrite in simpler radical terms. So that means our final answers still have to be in radicals, okay? So, but it says use rational exponents to go there. As you can see here, guys, your index is 6 and your radicand is 36. So this is the same thing as 36 to the 1 6th power. 36, though, guys, can be broken down as, pro as 6 times 6, okay? So that's going to be 6 times 6. Hence, that's going to be 6 squared then to the power of 1 6, okay? Now, power to the power, we have to multiply those two together. So it's going to say 6 to the 2 times 1 6, which we have to multiply horizontally, 6 to the 2 6, which we need to reduce that down 6 to the 1 over 3 by dividing top and bottom by, by 2. Well, now our final answer said it has to be back in radical. So that means this denominator is your index and then 6 to the fifth to the first power but normally we don't really keep one power as um, in the final answer so that's a simpler radical expression with using rational exponent to manipulate okay same thing with example 11 81 students to the 1 eighth power, remember the index is your denominator. Break the 81 down to primes, okay? Um, so, well, I wouldn't say prime, I would say common base. So 81 is nine times nine, which is really three times three times three, like four times. So that's really three to the fourth, raised to power 1 eighth, guys. And then power to the power, we multiply. So it's gonna be four times one over eight, which is really 3 to the 4th over 8. Reduce that down to 3 and 1 half. But it wants us to write it in the simplest radical form. So our index is 2, but we don't really write a square root. So we write it as square root of 3. I'm sorry, we don't write the index 2 because we know it's just going to be a square root. Okay. Okay, so this one says... We have to rewrite it as one radical, okay? One radical. We have a to the half, I'm sorry, two to the half power, a to the two thirds, and five to the six. B to the five, six. Oh my gosh, I can't read. To write it as one radical, your denominators must be exactly the same. So what that means is that I'm gonna multiply this, the LCD, is six okay so multiply this by three that means i'm going to multiply this by two so currently two to the power of three over six a to the power of four over six b nothing changes here okay because the denominator is already six since your denominator all got the same six that means your index is going to be six then on the inside we have two to the power of three a to the power of four and b to the power of five well two to the third students is going to be eight so your final answer is six index eight a to the fourth b to the fifth and we box that up okay i have i'm gonna roll over that was 10, 11, and 12. We got three more in the bottom. And that concludes our, our notes for today. Okay, similarly, guys, we can only rewrite it as one radical if your denominator here is exactly the same. So LCD's got to be 12. So what that means is I'm going to multiply this by 4. And I'm going to multiply this by 3, just like that, okay? So currently we have 2 to the 4 divided by 12, m to the 9 divided by 12. This will allow us to have a 12 index in here. And that means we have 2 to the 4th and then m to the 9th. And we have to multiply 2 to the 4th out. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times, that's going to be 16. So 12 index 
write that in there, 16 m to the ninth. And we were asked to write it in a radical form. So we are just going to box that up. We have two more. Woo, woo. Okay. So currently this looks really impossible to put it in one rad because look at the indexes, right? They are different. But first step is to write it as rational exponent. Okay. This is why we love knowing another way to write radical. We can go, oops, that's 32. We can go rational exponent back to radical and so on and so on. Let's see if we can simplify this, guys. 8 is 2 to the third, okay, raised to the power of 1 fourth. Now, 32 students, believe it or not, remember, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we just did this and we got 16. So mo if we multiply one more, that's going to be 32. So 2 to the fifth, to the 1 third power, just like that. Let's see if we can multiply out the exponents because it's power to the power. 2 to the 3 times 1 fourth. And over here, 2 to the 5 times 1 third. That will allow us to have 2 to the 3 fourths times 2 to the 5 third, just like that, okay? Bases are exactly the same, so we can add the exponents. 3 fourths plus 5 thirds, and our LCD is going to be 12, so LCD 12. So what that means is I'm going to multiply this by 3, multiply this by 4. This will allow us to say, well, you know what? Look at that. That's going to be 9 over 12 plus 20 over 12. And that's going to be 2 to the 29th over 12. Okay. So look at that. We kind of broke it down as the simplest um, rational exponent, but they want us to write it in radical form. So 12 index goes here, 2 to the power of 29. Well, guys, 29 twos, I know I can take out at least two because two set of 12 is 24. So I can take out one set, that's one set of 12, two set, that's the second set of 12, so that's 24, right? So 12 index, 29 minus 24 is 2 to the fifth. So we can make this a little bit prettier. This is 4 here, 2 to the fifth, guys, we just did 2 to the fifth, which was 32, okay? That's how we got that little guy, that's 32. So 4 outside, 12 index of 32, just like that. And so, guess what? We box that up. Okay, let's go on to our last question. Oh my, three times, guys, fourth index of 400 plus seven square root of 125. So clearly, right now, we have a fourth index and a square root. If this is yesterday, we would say not possible. But now that we know how to write it as a rational exponent, we are definitely going to try. 400 students is 4 times 100, okay? 4 is going to be 2 times 2. 100 is going to be 10 times 10. Break that down to 2 times 5, and then 2 times 5. Ooh, yeah, so definitely 2, 2, 2, 2. Ooh, 4 twos. And then we have 5 and 5, so that's going to that's gonna be cool, okay? So we will write, write that together in a little bit. 125 is gonna be five times 25, right? And then 25 is five times five. So this one, we got three of these. Okay, let's put them together. So we are going to pinch this in. Three on the outside, four index right now. We have one, two, three, four. So two to the fourth and then five square. Then over here, plus seven square root, five times five times five, that's the same thing as five to the third, okay? We can take this out because an index of four and four two. So that's gonna be a three times two on the outside, inside four to five to the second, okay? This one, we have a square root and we have five three. So similarly, take out one of the fives 
and then we have a square root of 5 left. Let's simplify on the outside. This is 6 right here. And at the same time, we are going to rewrite this as a rational exponent, which is 5 to the power of 2 fourths. Okay, This is plus 35 to a square root of 5. Nothing we can do. Oops, square root of 5, not 5 index. Square root of 5. Not much we can do here, guys. Now, this is the magic part where we couldn't do this on the last homework, okay? With fourth index of 25, or in this case, 5 squared, write it as a rational exponent, and then now we can reduce this exponent, which is 1 half, okay? Well, 1 half is back to square root of 5. I know, it's so awesome. And now we could really add these because it's a square root and the radicands are the same. So 6 plus 35 is 41 square root of 5. So before this lesson, this question would have been, you know what? Not possible to add those. We can simplify them, just not possible to add. But now we got it.